night of our wedding, we slept on carton. On carton. So it was not rosy. I'm Shindara Olatunji. Oluwa Shindara Laimi Olatunji. And I am Imano Olatunji, aka Iga, the exceptional being. Welcome to Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. That's the total the I the beyond entertainment. And this is beyond entertainment. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, the name my field in jam. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know I'll be answering the question here. All right, the name my field in jam was actually Adiola Lisbeth Adebanjo. That was what I feared. So, Lashinara is not the name I was given by my parents. That was it. Oh, I, I gave it to by myself. Oh, I gave it to myself. <laughs> I named myself that name. Oh, God named me that name. I actually named myself Lashinara when I was in secondary school. And the name I was being called then was Adiola. My parents called me Adiola. But when I got to school, people started calling me Diola, Diola. And I did not like that Diola because it sounded like you're you are actually spoiling the meaning of the name. Like the name is Adiola. And you're saying Diola, that means you are blocking wealth. So I just felt that no, instead of that. And we actually had many Adiolas in my class. We were up to maybe three or four. So one, they'll call one Adiola fat, one Adiola this. I just okay if we should start calling me Shindara, Olua Shindara. Just and like that. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And my parents got to know about the name through one of our pastors that came to the house. He was my friend on Facebook. So he was in the parlor that day and he was calling Shindara, Shindara, I did not answer him. And my dad was like, ah, ah, talent me. <laughs> because he was surprised that there is nobody bearing that name in this house. So I answered and he was like, ah, ah, he was on Shindara. So when they got to know the meaning of the name, of course, they had no choice. They too, they started calling, calling me Shindara, Olua Shindara. So that's the name to the glory of god i am the husband of this beautiful my <laughs> my name is Imano, like i said earlier and <clears throat> that name eh, that she just gave us a brief story about that name <laughs> was one of the things that captivated me it's when i first got <laughs> to know her because i couldn't even pronounce the name it was sounding like all this korean name and i love korean movies <laughs> so shindara it was shin shin you know so <laughs> I had to even tell her to teach me how to pronounce it because that was the first time I was going to come across such a name. And when she told me how to pronounce the name, like the name was just so beautiful in my ears. So yeah, I'm, I was, I mean, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm husband, I'd be, yeah, good. I met him. Yeah, I run online classes. I run, I do mostly online stuff. I'm an online business person. So I think someone who was familiar with what I was doing then introduced me to her. Yeah, so that was how she got to know me. I was just doing my thing. She registered for one of my conference that I was running at that time. She registered, but she didn't participate. <laughs> Anytime you say that, it's always sounding as if I intentionally did not participate. I don't know. But or you, as if I'm an unserious you did, person. You did not participate. <laughs> But then she, one thing that happened, one thing that used to, you know, happen then is that whenever anyone maybe registered for my conference or my class, I would save their contact and I usually do broadcast. What's broadcast, our broadcast start then. flooding there. Yeah. So I <laughs> added out to my broadcast, even though you, you did not attend my conference, I will sure be sending you messages. So I'm a writer. So since I added that to my um, WhatsApp broadcasts, message i would always send message every morning every morning every morning you know she she never responds to my whatsapp I except mean, one day i just oh. wrote one article just like i usually do and i still do that till today 
I wrote one article like that. It's a, it's a relationship article, but I, I can't even remember. I think she still knows more about that article. But the story is that after she read that article, oh my God, <laughs> just saw long messages. Long. So I was really captivated. Like, ah, this person that has never responded to any of my broadcast message. Ah, long message. And hello, sir. Wow, you spoke to me. <laughs> this, this. Wow, it's like God was just using to speak to me. This is my story. She was just telling me all her <laughs> stories and all of that. And that was it. That was how we got to. You know, if at that night she told me a story, I got to know that maybe she was once in a relationship and that relationship was didn't just go. Even though, yes, God really spoke to her about that relationship, that that was to be uh, a husband. But... He didn't, the guy, should I say, he betrayed her, you know, he was unfaithful to that relationship. So she told me that story that night because it was towards evening. And then we chatted and chatted and chatted. And from that very, like for the very first time that we were chatting, first time, I just felt something within me that this is my woman, this is mm. my wife. And I told her directly that ah, the spirit is moving me, like that exact <laughs> word. The spirit is moving because me, I don't know how to. I don't know. I'm sorry to say, but I don't know how to toast or do all those things they say. But all I could say to express how I was feeling that night was that the spirit is moving me, the spirit is moving me like just you, like that. Yes, you like because before then, God has spoken to me about who my wife is going to be, even though I don't recognize her officially. But I, the she, she, yeah, the features. So I could see the features in her and I'm like, ah, you fit the woman that go and the spirit is moving me towards you. <laughs> and she thought, you know, for the first time, we were chatting for the first time. So how come we do be? So she was now thinking maybe because she was vulnerable with her story because of the way she put that. She was now thinking I was just kidding or anything like that. So she said, ah, maybe by the time she not chat with me, then maybe I'll come back to my sense. And truth <laughs> to our word, the next one, I did not see her at all. I didn't see her from morning to I did, she didn't come online. I mean, I would go online intermittently just to check that she online, just so that we can chat and stuff like that. But she didn't come online until evening. And immediately she came online like this. It was there. I was there. I was like, hello. I thought you would not come online. And that was how we um we chatted. And she knew that okay, I was kind of serious. So she said she would pray about it. And yes, she confirmed just that same week. So I'll stop here. <laughs> <laughs> was it the same week? Yes, now. Mm. So that same week, like the same week. I was even up to five days. I think it was wow. around five days, yes. I was shocked now. I was like, which kind of spirit is that? Let the spirit lead you forward. Because I was actually like, uh -uh. I came here to share my story with you because of the article you wrote. The thing is, you I bombarded my um line with <laughs> articles and articles. And he said I did not attend the conference. It was not intentionally. The person that um, linked me up with him saw that this lady used to write before. Like then if I got admission to university, I used to write. So suddenly the relationship I got into, it became something like, it was a sad one. So instead of writing, posting my stories online, the articles, inspirational stuffs, I started writing in books because I cannot be sharing okay, I'm feeling this way today and I cannot be writing sad poems and stops online like that. So I, I write in the book. So the guy was like, why don't you just, I'm going to connect you with a writing coach that will help you boost your writing skills back. That was the thing. And <laughs> I was like, okay, this person, funnily enough, he was, he was having his first conference. And the guy said, okay, attend this conference. I messaged him, he gave me the line. I messaged him. And he said I should send my full name. I was going, it was a church retreat, and I was going for choir um Riaza then. By the time I got back, I just sent Shindara. I did not remember to send son name. So because of that, I did not admit to the group. Was was that principle? <laughs> did not admit to the group. And when I came back, the whole thing was over. So I, I did not remember. <laughs> I just know you did not attend my. Yes, now he's not admit to the group. He's not that I know to attend. He said send full name. I only sent Shindara and he did not admit to the group. And I was feeling ashamed of myself. 
to go back to him and say, ah, so the this thing I could not attend, though, blah blah blah. And it was just over like that. So my friend was like, I did not see you in the conference. What happened? I explained things to that one, and that was how he had made he added me to he had one academy online, WhatsApp, exceptional being academy. So he added me there. And I did not know that they were already welcoming exceptional Shindara because I refused to go to the group as well. I was feeling ashamed that I'm on serious. They want to help my life and I'm still doing like this. So I didn't attend, I didn't go to the group. So it's not that my friend, I was like, go to this place now. They've been welcoming you for days now. You did not go and check. So what, what made me go back to these articles? I was feeling like, okay, if I'm going to open that message in the group, this coach might ask me that all the articles I've been sending, did you even read them at all? So I said, okay, let me go and read all these articles <laughs> from the one that he has been sending. So that in case he asks many questions, I'll be able to answer. So I went to open all the messages. And so while I was reading, I, I came across one like that, that was... It was actually speaking to me when you give your all to somebody and then the person let you down. And I was like, ah, this one is me. That was what made me pull my heart out. And this freestyle moment. Ah, what kind of street is that? that? Sir, every single statement from her, she puts her. I was just like, ah, calm down, sister. And me too. I actually extended the courtesy because when we were now kind of getting close and all of that, I. I did not know how to pronounce her name. So I have to take her permission through chat, like, please, I want to call you so that you can teach me how to pronounce your name because I don't want to be pronouncing it wrongly. She didn't put the full name. It was the Shindara that she kept. So she said, okay, sir. And I called her and then again, the voice, oh my God. That voice sounded so beautiful to my ears. I'm like, hey, this is another further confirmation. <laughs> and so we were did just you, chatting. Yeah, did God tell you how your wife is sound? It was uh -uh. a confirmation. Uh -uh. You don't worry. That one, leave that to me. <laughs> leave that to me. I, I heard that voice that night because it was always in the evening. That um, I don't know. She is. She only has time in the evening. She's a very till today. Says she's still a very busy woman. She has always been busy. So it's, it's only evening that. I have the opportunity to chat with her. So that that evening, after we spoke on phone, just I don't think it's up to ten seconds. And because I was all I asked was that teach me how to pronounce your name. And after she did that, I ended the call too, and then we continued our chat. But yes, that was how this beautiful journey got started. Beyond the entertainment show, the stories behind the movies. And I told him that if I'm going to go into any relationship, that's to be the one that will end in marriage. Because oh, yeah. I was not ready to start. Um, all my all the time I was in university, I only um, I was one person, and I did not like the fact that I'll now be like moving from person to person. And I my parents already knew this guy. So I did not want to, okay, you, I will now introduce them, you to them, and then afterwards, I will now carry on that person again. And I was always open with my relationship with my parents so that it's not that uh, then maybe I'll be in school or I'll be walking down the street. Someone will now see me with one guy and they'll say, ah, oh my Ramon, yeah, I saw your child walking with somebody. So they should be aware that, okay, this is the person my child is going out with. So I didn't want to be moving from one thing to another. So I just told him, if you are going to go into anything right now, that's to be something that is serious. I wasn't ready for play. And God told me beforehand that the person that is going to be my wife will not give me a no. And what unknown to her, even before I got to know her, there was this person that we've been, I think we've been friends online too for a long time. I was thinking that that was the person. So we went on a date. She agreed and all of that, then we spoke and spoke, of course, in the public place. And after the distance, I'm like, okay, well, I would like you to be my hand. direct no. And that very day, I just knew that, okay, yes, because I knew what God told me that the person will not give me a no. And then maybe later and say that, okay, I've prayed now, I'm now sure, and give me, give me, now eventually give me a yes. So when this said lady said no, I just removed my heart 
automatically. And it was not long to, from that time that I now met her. And guess what? That same lady that gave me a note came back to now say, okay, yes. I was like, ah, no, I'm sorry. When I now told her that, ah, God has shown me my woman. It was not like, ah, what do you mean? Really? Like, ah, were you playing with me and all of that? I said, no. So I told her that, see, this, when I was praying, because um, the first time I got to Ibadan, I came for work purpose. And when I was working in a school, I was working as a um, um, tutor then. You know, there was a time that um, God just, there was a, like, I would call it like a revival, you know, a personal retreat. So for about three days, I was just, nothing else was just uh, praying, fasting, praying. I don't really fast, but during that time, it was just prayer and fasting, prayer and fasting and all of that. And it was that time that God really revealed to me how my marital journey will go. In fact, God gave me a vision, a life vision. God made me to realize that, see, marriage is an integral part of my destiny and i must not fail in that aspect so since then just like you know something that i will never never forget so it gave me how say my woman if i ask her out she will not give me a no maybe at first and later come and give me a yes she's someone that will not be wearing earrings like it gave me a vivid description and since then i've had that in mind so when this lady later came i was not even con confused I just knew that no, <laughs> maybe it was my own. I was not. I, I was not patient enough. So I explained to her, and she she understood. And then yeah, we started our own journey. We were 22, right? And I was 25 at that time. And of course, yes. Ah, it, at, when when um we didn't when we were caught when we started our courtship. We didn't plan that yes. we are going to get married. We planned that three years. Yes, we planned. I told her that. Me too. I'm not ah, it's married relationship. I mean, yeah, the relationship that I have marriage in view. But you have to. I'm still with my mom. Mm -hmm. I'm still a mommy's and, boy. And I had not gone for service. And she had not I gone just for service. My so university. and of course, yeah, she was based in Ogun State, and I was based in Lagos. I said, yeah, so let's just still. Two years, just give me two years. At that time, I believe that everything would have set for me and I can now come to your parents. That was the plan. And we are okay until I was heading to our annual convention, church annual convention. I was already on the, in fact, I think I was heading towards Agbara at that time. Yes. When I called. I just got no, a, I think I, message. I messaged you. It was a WhatsApp just message. Message. Ah, like, ah, okay. God told me. And here's the thing. Yes, we want to say something. Yes, yes. Thing, we've been sharing during our courtship period. God has always given me message. I will give it to her, and she too. God would give her message. She will give it to me, and like that. So that day when she now said, "God told her," so it was not strange. Even though the message was strange, I was not <laughs> expecting the kind of message that God gave her. But because I knew that God has always been spoke, speaking to her, and she has been delivering to me, and likewise the same. So I was not, so there was no doubt. I didn't feel like, ah, is this lady trying to pressure me or is this a kind of, and again, unknown to her, there's a friend of ours, like a mutual friend of ours. The same thing, the lady, she's also a, she's a minister of God and she messaged me almost the same time and said, ah, see, brother, I got this of you that if I, you're married, might be sooner than you expect that. Just go and pray about it. Be, And, Ah, it was now similar as if maybe they planned it. And true to her, um, because later I had to ask her that, see, did you, did you plan with anything? She said, no, she didn't even know. And this other lady we are talking about too didn't know that my wife now, at that time, my, um, <laughs> what do we call it, fiancé, right, you know, sent me a message. She didn't know. So it was happening, everything so, so fast. But... I'm going to church, right? So when I get to church, I will pray about it. I was the yeah. I was the revealer of the message anyway. So it was August 17. I was going for camp meeting, and then I was on my bed. I was not praying, no. I was just on my bed, and I felt the not to just. I just had in my spirit that I should pick a wedding date. By the way, I'm the last child of the family, mm -hmm. and none of my siblings were married as, as at that time. So I just got to know that pick a wedding date. I was like ah. Yes, yeah, I'm coming from. So I was still backing myself that is it that I'm falling in love so much that I really want to get married. But 
And before I could even finish thinking about anything, I got it to be December 19 and to be a Tuesday. I was like, ah, uh which -uh. one is this one? The calendar I had on my phone then was all this book calendar that you will not know the, it will not bring the days, it's just the number it brings. So I did not know how to confirm. But I think I went online to search December um, 19 and I saw that it was a Tuesday. So I was like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> I was shivering. What kind of message is this one? I just, I told him, but I kept it to myself because I did not know how to tell my parents about it. I was, I was just like, mm, maybe this one is just one of those things. But the fact that it was December 19th and God said it to be a Tuesday. He, he told me to be a Tuesday because he knows that nobody will do wedding on a Tuesday. No man, no man, like, you know, it's not possible. But he confirmed it. He added that meant to be a Tuesday. And the funny thing is that this year that we are doing um, this, <laughs> this interview, it's the date correlates with that year we um, did our wedding. So when he was now trying to explain to me that, okay, we are born on a Tuesday and I want it like the year of my birth also correlated with the year I got married. So I was like, I have planned this thing since then and it must happen. So he started giving us messages that if we change the wedding date, it will be like this, it will not be like this. Ah. So we have to tell our parents. Oh, before then, you, you, you skipped. No, I've not yet. So when she gave me that message, so I, in fact, <laughs> it was very, very strange. Of course, the natural feeling would be like, ah, because I know that I'm still under, yeah. you know, my parents and you know, I, I've got no job and ah, uh -uh, I'm still feeding me now. So, but just the writer. Uh -huh, I'm just the writer. <laughs> but I said, okay, I'm going to church. So once I get there, I'll pray. And during that convention, my only prayer was just about that message that I got. In fact, I remember this particular day, I was on my knees, like I forgot myself there. I was praying and praying and praying to the extent that, yes, this knee, in fact, I couldn't stand up by the time I was done praying. So that was how long that prayer was. And, you know, I started talking to God and what God told me was that ah, when you were asking now, when you were telling the spirit, ah, <laughs> didn't you know? Were you not ready for, you know? To, I said I was ready, but this is not the. Okay, I now told God that, sis, okay, God, I'm ready to obey your will. If, you know, you give me. I, this prayer was very, very intentional. I said, if you give me everything to be a husband and a father, that yes, I'm going to go all out. And right there, God led me to know that, see, if I, did, if I don't desire this thing, I don't desire with all my heart that is it's, it's not going to happen and i have to desire it's not because of he's saying that we should go and get married now and then i'll now just be doing it grudgingly like not really wanting it so he told me that and i said ah, why not i why not when i was acting out i i knew that yeah we have to get married so if you are saying it is now i'm ready so far you can promise me that you will give me everything that will help me to be a husband and god gave me his word and when god gave me his word oh my god i went all out i went all out my own challenge will now be how am i going to tell my mom ah <laughs> that was a very it was one of the, <laughs> the most difficult okay. this thing then because, my ah, it was so difficult <laughs> my mom didn't even believe me she nobody believed me i can still so remember my, my dad, mom's that's... reaction when she said, ah, eh, okay, yeah, we look well, cool. Okay, eh, no, ah, what's your fair, what's your fair, what's your fair, no fair, yeah, we look well, cool. I, I will never forget that reaction. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think I only met mom once then. So just once that I met her. And then it was looking like. In fact, after I told my mom, she came to visit. Yes, so uh, I came to. She requested my, that I yeah, should, she should come. come. Yeah, she came to visit. And my mom called her because I'm like, wait. I don't know if this guy maybe is trying to. He does not have anything, you know. So yeah, I don't. Wow, Mugari! Yeah, she don't called me that. to the room without him. Wow, Mugari! She must put He does not have a job. Wow, Mugari! My mom casted me. <laughs> Do you love him or you want to mock him? And I was like, hey, what's this? What's the main, the main purpose of this meeting? It's just to probably change my mind and give me sense that this thing you are going into is not is not the it's right not time and. She was like, how would I? I told her, say, hmm. Okay, oh. she was sure, sure. And when we now, she sure confirmed, okay, that was. But my dad, ah, my dad's own. The thing is that 
before I even got the courage to tell my dad, I think it was like a week. I was keeping it to myself, and each time the Holy Spirit to like it was, it was as if my it, my hair was being twisted because anytime he tells me, I'll feel this. My hair will become very hot, and if you don't tell them, I'll, and it was unbearable because it was actually painful. So one day I just went to tell my dad. He said I want to see. He was sleeping, so I woke him up one afternoon, and I was like, I know I'm the last child. I know this, <laughs> and I know there's no much now, but. God said, this was what I got. And before then, I've also been telling him, he knows that, okay, God has been using me. So when I told him, he was not so shocked, but he wasn't expecting that kind of message. I said, I know that my siblings are not married, and I know that they are supposed to get married before me. But it wasn't like, so my pain in you, is that one. Each person has their own destiny. And if God wants you to go first, he knows why. But who do you want to marry? <laughs> Obviously, they've not met him. The only time my daddy met him was one day he gave me a surprise visit. And I was in, my daddy has a school. So I was at school then. And he said it was around. I was like, hey, I'm, I have just told my daddy some time ago that this person that they knew before, they are not in a relationship again. I had this dream and this was what God showed me. So how am I now going to, okay. He waited, <laughs> he waited outside. Wait, he waited outside. He was already outside the school. So I was like, how would I go and tell my dad that someone came to visit me? So I went to meet my dad and I was like, Daddy, T on Bafia was see by from <laughs> if someone wants to come to this place from this area, what would I tell the person to take? What bike? What would I call? My dad said, hey. I said, my someone must come and visit me. So after some time I went to meet him and I was like, okay, that this is the person. Ah, who is he? I said, this is my writing friend. <laughs> it was the one I told you because we attended one course together. So I had to tell my dad. So as the person that introduced me to the editing course I attended and blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is my writing. So he knew him as a writing friend, nobody. So when my dad was like, Taloa Fefe, who is the person? Mm -hmm. I was like, that person I introduced mm -hmm. then, that came to school, I said, my writing friend. He said, eh, hey. ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that was how my daddy got to know. But my mom was not taking me serious. Like she didn't even it was getting too late. And I was like, Ewa, we came out from church that day and I was like, come on, is it fish we will kill? Abby is goat, Abby is cow. You can not even say anything. And are you taking me for a joke? Like my stars were one of my stars was like, ah, maybe this vision is for me. Like <laughs> so I felt kind of ah, maybe I shouldn't have said it because normally my star should go before me but when i said it and it was looking like but this is my sister she gave 100 percent support like she was there for me all true and you know god god just had his way all the messages there was no money we didn't even know how to do it and god god did it you, god skipped, did it. you are skipping it <laughs> see man before they all agreed they said that daddy said they have to you know um Okay. confirm yes, yes from, from men my, of god yes 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 so true. because she came from a christian home and that's one thing that i really you know appreciate again about because i didn't come from a christian background even though yes god well, saved the me only along christian. the way i'm the only in fact my mom is a muslim i know god is still bringing actually my word this Amen. <laughs> so they said okay they will have to confirm her. and they confirmed from the first person the second, the third, and all of them said the same thing that ah, those children is exactly as they said though. That is God's talking. You know, they should support them. You know. Sorry, then, in fact, I yeah. had to go. It was August I got it. I had to go on fast from September 1st to the end, like to the end of through September I fasted. So that God will speak to my church pastor. It was one that was then so like that weather. So I just God just speak to this man. Mm -hmm. So it was on the thirtieth of October. He now called me and said, God has spoken. And I had to just end the fast. So I had to fast through. And one of the pastors my parents reached out to was like, if they bring 20 pastors and they say no, it's mm -hmm. a lie, he will stand and say, No, it is true. So God actually, I think he went ahead of us to go and he set through everything. To... Even my mom that was very, you know, she was not, I understood her, you know, her reaction when I told her because I'm like the, you know, like I'm a first child. So definitely 
she expect that before you you are even going to get married, at least you should be well to do mm-hmm. and all of that. So telling her that, okay. I think she even said something like she ain't got to pay for something. Oh, yes, <laughs> now so she was like so, after everything. I don't know. Maybe she prayed. I don't know how God convinced her because she, my mom, she in fact God used her tremendously. She. Ah, I can't. She, without I, I don't even know what would have happened because she actually personally took on took, took charge of the wedding. But at the beginning, hmm, she was not. I don't know how God convinced her. I don't know how God spoke to her that no, Amy Monsoro, yes, I'm the one that told these children to go ahead. Likewise, my dad and the way God just made everything. God allowed everything to work in our favor, even though it was very very challenging in the first place but god took control god went ahead of us the when it's when it was time for preparation the venue god got the venue for us you know on so a tuesday people, a free, people were like ah, venue. who's going to attend our wedding mm-hmm, tuesday. tuesday everybody will be at work on our wedding day rain fell heavily people came people came massively <laughs> like the food that we cooked that day finished even we said we didn't sit out of it, and but everybody was satisfied. So God really, really took charge, and it went the way, you know, He God said it was going to. And what we learned from that experience is that, you know, if God tells you anything and you obey, mm-hmm. He's going to back it up. Yes. He's going to like we started seeing God manifestation from that moment. We said, okay, we are going to go, you know. I had, on the day of the wedding, I took down um. Mulwe, you know, to my wedding. Yes. Wedding. So, the um after I I got to you know the location that's Mowi, which is Ogun State. So I like okay, where are we now going to change? That's myself and my best man. And then God, I don't even know if I can still recognize the barbing salon now. But God just directed us to one barbing salon roadside, and we just okay, let's bab here. After we cut cut our after we had our haircuts. The we pleaded with the Baba that said we want to change, and the man <laughs> was in fact gobsmacked that eh, today you are going for your day, wedding, like you are changing, like yeah. I've like <laughs> never seen this kind of thing, but I said, see, it's a long story. And then after we changed, the next thing now, okay, my best man and you know myself I'm like okay how are you not going to i can't trek to people are already there am i going to like really carry bike i don't know and, what was I, ah, they will now see your call your one bike like, oh mara <laughs> god came to again all of his soul i just and uh, uh, my best man just like this this man is coming that is he came i don't know how the till today i don't even recognize i him. remember i was in the room mm-hmm. i was still dressing and i got a call that where is the husband i was like I don't know. So I called him. That where are you? Who called you? I don't know. It was an unknown number. So the person called and was like, he wants to come and pick the groom. I said, okay, where are you? So I called the person back. I think I even gave someone my phone because I was running late. I gave someone my phone that, okay, please describe so so place to the man. And I did not even see the man's face. It was just, I think this week that I saw the person's face. I've never yeah, seen God the that person. My, um, my best man took the picture. Yes. Till, even till now. He does not know the I, person. I don't know I the don't person. Know the I, don't person. Know we, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it was just mysterious, sincerely, because we were really, really at that time, we were like, ah, we were, and the program was already ongoing. So we were, we were running late and like, ah, but we can't trek there because people will see us. We know that, yes, God gave us this job, but nobody will understand. Like, you know, people will start saying things that, ah, but I about that, Nick, Nick, hey, I don't know, you know? Even So me. I did not want to. But how good when I when I saw that it was for me this thing might sound so simple but it was a big miracle. Yes, ah, now so it was like an angel coming. I told, I'm telling you that I, was I even it. thought you knew the person. I did not. I did not. I, did not. I, it's, I in fact when my best man said, "See, this man is telling us to come," out, I'm like, ah, "How? Who sent?" I even thought maybe okay. The first thought was like maybe she sent it or daddy. Where is the one that directed and, him to but, the venue, or he just drove you? No, I'm the one that okay, we entered. We, yeah, I led the way. I entered. No, we. I've, I came for mm, ah, counseling. Hey, God, they use my eyes to see hey, this family. Calm down. Even <laughs> this me. family, they are Wait. so family. We are, we are wonderful people. Mm, yeah, so, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Ah. So even me, I did not know the car that I was going to use. Actually, when I was dressing up for wedding. It was when I was now going out. I was not like ah, all these things I'm doing. Which car will take us? Because my daddy actually sold his car for the wedding 
so that we can be able to buy yes. stuff and everything. So it was not Aisha got outside. I saw that uh, uh, <laughs> they designed car. <laughs> it was funny. It was one of our church members actually. Um, released yes, car. released this car for us then. And it was it was a wonderful experience. My experience, yes. Like I didn't even believe that. Uh, uh, so me to now enter this. I was feeling shy because at that time I was not even ready. I was not ready at all. But we we needed to just fulfill. He said there are the banjos like we we not show him any pepper. So you just pepper. So just know ah. how thing you should go. To. No, they showed us pepper because <laughs> ah. because of the way the whole thing came. I remember mm-hmm. when we went for the like my dad said, ah, this thing really happen. No, his yes. other brother too. Let's so part, um, yes. his brother too. Like daddy confirm. said that he, he does not have the like the Luria B is the one. Yes. If he and says yes, and that's my daddy's elder brother, mm-hmm. my uncle. So we they asked to go there so my dad already went ahead before the other family members would come it went it was that they was telling us that ah, when my daddy came he was crying that ah oh my mouth is too bad she didn't pay bye bye and he was wondering that ah now that's another victory yes, because that, that he was afraid that ah that if he told that she was pregnant now and hey you say uh-huh. this but if they said god said they should go ahead so it was like it was part of my prayers that yes. God should just go ahead of mm-hmm. us and say because mm-hmm. his, his other brother is very principled as yeah. well. So you have to do the normal thing. Yes. I have to go for service mm-hmm. and everything. But the way he just like, like agreed. agreed supported, but when like, we now uh, the family came, his family came, mom and dad, and me too, we went there. There was this uncle that came. I've not seen him like yes. in years, maybe 10 years. Yeah, I've not seen him. And he came and was he just came to visit. He was not supposed to be there. Yes, that day. he just came to visit. And he was like Okay, oh, eh, Madiola, ma o wa ni sin class wo lo wa. And we were looking like classic. Tori ti ela se joko leni like it's because of how we are sitting today. What class? So, you know, we got to the meeting and the man was like, when he got to know that we wanted to choose a date for introduction, he was like, ah, ah what job are you? What's your job? He said he's a writer. You unko editor. <laughs> you po- you no, have you gone for service? You have you gone for service? I said no. You, you are a writer. You people don't have a job. That was what he said. Mm-hmm. He said I said I'm a pastor, but I will tell you that right now you people should go and pray again. So after all the marathon, thirty days and everything, ah, and we are about to just take wedding um introduction date. We already have our wedding date. Just take introduction date and go. We had to go and pray again. So we did not leave that place with prayer. With um, that with day dates. was a tough day. And that day, and mommy, because my mom and dad were embarrassed. <laughs> like, oh, that day they put all the because they their expectation was that okay, we should go and get the dates. the dates. That was what we, you know, concluded. That was the expectation. That was why we went there. So, but how everything turned that day now seemed like okay, we are in council. I see we don't know what we are doing <laughs> and all of that. Even though daddy used his wisdom, that's um, a little bit grandpa. Yes. Used his wisdom like, that day, like Abo. At the end of the day, things didn't go the way we, we, all, expected. Yeah, we all expected. Everyone like, was shocked. Like when we so when we now left, my mom and dad, oh, they gang up on me. We were like, I never understand. <laughs> and I you said something. Yes, now <laughs> now I was just telling them that okay. Um, after I I I do I. I I don't yeah, know. After everything, after, uh, yeah, that is after all the this. Thing, I just told them that ah, okay, the only thing I just need from them is to just you know support me with uh, finance, like money, like to for school because I was still going to school. Hey, I wish I didn't say that. Kilo <laughs> eh? But to you know my mom. When you know you are ready to my get married. My mom is like a soldier. Ah, I like the woman, so I think she's eh. Ah, go I you. I regretted asking that kind of favor. Like when in Yoruba land, the moment a child says that, oh, you are ready to get married, Mm -hmm. that is the, no matter what, that is your parent says to help you from that day, you are on your own. So this, from this moment, you are on your own, you are on your own. Ah, And I just, and every time I have that child, I'll just go back to God. God, this is, and yes, support ceased from that moment, but God, how God, Mm -hmm. To control, even me, I cannot marry. So, 
um, I wasn't just calling myself a writer. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Even before I got to know that I was going to get married in 2017, I think it was 2016, I came back from, I resigned from where I was working. I went back home and I called my mom. I told her that, Ma, I'm going fully into writing. And she looked at me like this. She was perplexed, but she didn't discourage me, even though she didn't understand what I was saying, like writing, like, do you want to be a journalist or what? So I said, no, writing, I want to be writing books. And she was, ah. like, in all her years, she has never heard of anyone, you know, like anyone who is a writer and then succeed or maybe achieve anything reasonable. But I told her, but she didn't discourage me. And so since then, I've been writing. And yes, even though I was not really making that kind of money, I've been getting little gigs here and there. I've done content writing and all of that. So I was just doing all of that. So yeah, after the wedding day and all of that, that was what I was doing. And fortunately, we started seeing um, God's help. One of the things that I would say was a big this thing for me is idea from the Holy Spirit. Yes, like for instance, my school that I run today that is now global, you know, was an idea. I was just, you know, I may just be in the, you know, bathroom, like, or in the bedroom or anywhere. And then I would just get it, you know, it just comes and okay, start a school, start teaching people this thing, this thing. And I started and I would say then <clears throat> it was small, it was WhatsApp. Now it's a full-blown school by God's grace. But then it was just WhatsApp, online class. I was one of the earliest people that started these online classes, online writing and all of that. And I was charging 10,000 era, you know, for mm -hmm. students. And every month, that, that online course alone, I was making six figures. Every month, like, I was making a minimum of 100,000 era. So that alone was sustaining us. For a, whole, for a whole year. So I was doing that, you know, I dedicated everything. And another thing is that God usually give me instruction. So I follow it meticulously. And one thing I realized is that anytime I get an instruction from God, if I follow it, I will get the results. But if I just change it to anything, I will tell you one of the instruction again I got at that early stage of our marriage. I want to, you know, I follow this online coach and all this you know, you, are, you need to have role models and, and all of that. And one of the things they will say for a married couple, you need to have budget, you need to have this and all of that. So I wanted to, I mean, I don't just learn, I like to apply. So I told my wife that, okay, we need to have a budget though and all mm -hmm. of that. And that was how, when I was at the peak of the planning and all of those things, the Holy Spirit just came, he sent you a message. Yeah, you want to have a budget. Okay, is that budget that will carry you through and all of that. And God specifically told me that no, that that will not work for me. Like ah, ah, I'm like, I can't even tell this to a mentor mm -hmm. because they'll be yeah, like, ah, it's not even I, normal to say. It's not normal like, to say. You should I'm telling you, like ah, ah. So there are some instructors I've realized that you don't share with a third party. Just keep it to yourself. So I told her, and she understood as well. So we killed that budget idea. And I tell you, honestly, we've not. Uh, this is going to be six years, Abby. We've not had anything like a budget in our family and God has helped us tremendously. Sometimes we would do some, you know, mind blowing project like this and <laughs> we will not be able to explain mm -hmm. how we're able to do it. And when we have maybe interviews like this or when people ask us, that, okay, how are you? And we say, it's God, it's God. It will seem like we're that just trying to sound humble. religious. But that is our true story. You know, I believe that God has shown us that he's still really very much interested in human and in every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. So, yes, because in every aspect, even in my work, like in my career, Daddy mentioned Tebiba, the birth of Tebiba. Yeah, we started Tebiba. How did Tebiba come to be? She said something that I introduced her to online course and all of that. And that's one thing I would like to quickly chip in. When we were cutting, we were not playing and all of that. Like, it was serious work. Mm -hmm. It was, she knew. That's why you said I was principal. Like, me, I'm like, okay, what, did, what is your skill? And all of that. Okay, love it. Detail, yeah, register for this course and all of that. Once you lose your strength like this. But, so uh, I was always, that was what our easy. courtship was actually about. So when we got married too, that's, you know, mindset. So I registered for, I paid a, a UK coach. I could not afford him. But it was very, very moved by my desire to 
hire him. Like you, you can imagine someone that they pay millions, maybe mm -hmm. before you can sit him down to have it. So me approaching him that I need help, I would like him to. So he was, he gave a discount and he said he was going to coach me for a month. So he started. And when he got to know that I, I was married, he was also very inspired. Ah, this is your wife. Let me, where's your wife? And my wife I joined too. We too attended. Then. So it was then. And during one of the sessions, you know, he now said, ah, what, I, what, what am I doing? I'm a writer. She's an editor. Said, ah, that's a business. You know, she just sparked that. Ah, that's a business and all of that. So that was how we Stebiba got started and, and we've actually yeah. been doing it even while we've we're cutting because yeah, yeah. i remember we've then, been working together yeah. yes i was editing books and he was um getting the job we write sometimes our edits so we've been doing it even before the but it now became something that we needed to now um package well and all of that yes you know we're not seeing the big picture but that man actually made us like well oh, this is a this is something big and all of that so I have to now think of registering, doing like going through the legal process and all of that. And yeah, that was how Tebiba came to being. And every year, you know, it's always bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Like this is our sixth year. And we've always have one big thing that God will do for us every year. Mm -hmm. And that is, it. but it's always, there's always an instruction. Yes. Like every year, I always get one paramount okay. instruction. Okay, this year, this is how you should go. So, I just run through. That's like a template for me. And I share this, actually. You can call it maybe a secret, but that's just the truth. And I share it. But when I share, people just take it with hands of levity. But that is the truth. And I believe that God gives us instructions per time. He gives mm -hmm. us some things that he wants us to do. And it's not many times, many a time we think that maybe it's for him or mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. There's one instruction God gave us last year, me specifically. You know, when you've worked towards the end of last, when you've worked and yes, you've seen the result. Like that year, I've worked and God has blessed my work. I had money in my account, like the kind of money that you know I've not. And after all of that, me, I felt like yes, ah, you. you know, yes, relax. That was the plan. I was trying to spoil myself and all of that. And God just came. Yeah, send this to this one. Send that to them. And look, I thought it to be you know when you have. Use some use huge amount of money, and then maybe God says send hundred to this one, send hundred to down. It will be easier. But it didn't stop until it was empty. You know, I didn't tell anybody that. You know, but I didn't even tell her to. It was until I finished obeying the instruction. I told her. And one thing I would appreciate this woman for is that there is no no matter how stupid or fully the instruction may be, she always supports me. She knows that yes, if it is God, no problem. So it made it very easy for me. In fact, it has always made it easier. So sometimes I don't even have to tell her. I'll just tell her that, see, God told me this one and I've done it. And she'll just say, praise the Lord. That was, how, that was what happened when we gave up our first car. Our first car that we got, you know, after many years of, you know, we not have owning a car, but we got a car by the special group. That was last year now. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we were just in the room together. And it was me like, ah. This is not our car. And my wife just said, yes, I think so. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, yeah, how did you say it? We, okay, I just said we are giving out this car. We, okay, okay, we and she to say, yes, we are giving. Like, we didn't plan it. We didn't. I just edited my spirit that we are giving out this car. This is not our car. There's a person that needs this car. God just used us to maybe buy it and all of that. We do not have extra. We do not have anything. Mm -hmm. So that's another instruction. So I'm just giving this insight. We are not using this to... We are just trying to make it very practical for people. So there, are always, there has always been instruction. And I realize that every time you follow God's instruction, mm -hmm. God will never owe you anything. God has never owned owe, 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 owe any single thing at all. In fact, that the one owing me. You know, so God has been very, very good. That's how we're able to scale through. I said from the beginning of my story that when support ceased, when I say support ceased, it was not that maybe our family were not praying. They were praying for us, but not once have I gone like, ah, it being power, at this and that. Since the very day we did our wedding till today, it has always been from glory to glory. So, in fact, those that some people... <laughs> Some people thought, oh, let's see, let's see. You know, some people, some people attended our wedding. They came to see that, oh, yeah, maybe it's pregnant. pregnant. Like the now, the secrets will be open, open, you know, and all of that. God revealed all these things to us. But many people, in fact, some people from some people were actually well-meaning friends and all of that. Like, ah, 
See, people oh, they, some people were pitting a lot of things, but everybody got shut all out. Everybody came. People that were speaking, some people said, if you just give them two years, three years, then when they see they will run out again, all of that. Mm -hmm. But many of them now came, they will pay for our class. And some of them will. That told yes. Me that this thing I'm doing is so I'm too young for it. And his own, like something, maybe six years. Mm -hmm. And it was like, ha. Using his so own failure. He called, maybe he called me, or I called him to just check up. And I was like, I used to go in my head to, with it. Like, no, you said that is your marriage. Is, is this still on? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> is this supposed to crash? So it was uh, it has been God. I remember one instruction he gave us while um while we went to pray. He also gave me the same instruction, like almost word for word. And he said, This thing we are going into, if we decide to move it, and like, okay. And it almost happened when we went to get the dates because they checked the calendar and were like, let's check mm. if there's another December 19th that is close by. But none of them was Tuesday. I don't think, think they came to this 2023. Because you can imagine, they now came to it and like, ah, Tuesday 1, 2023, they would have achieved their purpose. <laughs> Six years later. They never had even worked out again. But God said, if you move it, all the plans I have for you, I'll move it. So it was it was like that. And now, so how did we come this far? I believe it has been good. It mm. has not been normal. We call our marriage AB normal. That is abnormal, above normal. Like, so... It has been God, the instruction, the obedience, and everything. It has even not been when, easy. It has not like, been. <laughs> the first night of our wedding, we slept on carton. On carton. So it was not rosy. We slept on so carton. Not, and people so, see us today and they envy us. They're like, ah, you, you inspire a lot of testimonies, a lot. But you know, when we hear testimony, we're always giving glory to God. But then, because of people say, I wish to be like you guys. I'm like, ah, you wish to be like us. <laughs> hey, <you> <laughs> As just if you tell know, God to be his own point. Ah, just tell God, you wish to be like what? Hey, mm. We went through, you know, I will say we went through hell, but we really went through crucibles. It was challenging. So we started from the from the grassroots. Mm -hmm. But then God, even from, even, uh, let us say this one. When we got married, though, we said, I told my wife, see, come. You know, God gave, it was all, it's always God gave instruction that we should go and get married. Don't what let us bring our children, children into this one. No, you know, and all of that. And, you know, she always agreed, like, okay, that's true. So we went to do family planning. Even when we went to family planning, they, they just, ah, if it's my, it's my, I will never allow my children to do this one and all of that. Long story short, we did family planning. When our parents got to know, they understood. They didn't discourage us. They said, well, that's sensible. My mom was not happy that I, I, the God said she should go and do family okay, planning. Yeah. It was not God that gave you two instructions. Allow him to close the business. But daddy understood. Yeah, daddy, daddy really understood. spoke well and all of that. But when the child will come, so in family it, it was through family. He came. And I was still we, on family it, planning. She was, she was still on family planning. In, in fact, family. in fact, before the child came, two months you know, two to three months after our wedding, you know, um, the wedding day, that was how this boy, because I run, you know, my online class, writing, writing. So there was this boy that attended my writing training and I got to know that, okay, he's really, really passionate about writing, but, you know, he wanted to, he's struggling. So he wanted to come to Lagos mm -hmm. just so that he can, you know, Make he's it. in village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that mentality. So he reached out to me and... <laughs> And I saw him that, okay, and one thing is that if you go through maybe my training and all of that, and I see that, oh, you have this passion. Because me to have gone through it. So I'm always, you know, I yeah. tilt towards, yeah, helping and all of that. So I said, okay, I would. Oh, so the plan with together was like, we'll rent an apartment for him. But long story short, that didn't really yeah, work out. She started living with us. She started feeding a grown-up person. We too, that we are still trying to, you know, gather, we started feeding him. Taking responsibility for him and all of that, and it was at the at that period that you know our child also miraculously came, and God has really, really been helping us. So yeah, it has really, really been God, and it has been a journey of strict obedience to God's instruction, and of course, see the miracles of God. So yeah, that's how our journey has been. No, we did not. We did not. In fact, we did not for for a week. In, it was one it of was my the morning we got that yes true wedding. wedding we now so, in fact no that day i just yeah, i just went out i didn't tell her i just went out <laughs> I, want, I, I didn't because i know she likes surprise that's one of her love languages so i knew so i just went out that day and i got out the morning it was mattress and fan because we had the only thing i had then books, books. books. That was, that was because of books. books i did not even have clothes 
<laughs> Let people have enough very clothes. Full clothes. Very full clothes, but enough blue. So, yeah, you might the man of vision. <laughs> so, <laughs> that day I went out and I just bought. Ah, I will never forget her look that she was so happy. Maybe she has been suffering <laughs> on that floor. No, no, and no. You no, not no tell me. But I know the look was so, I will never forget. I was so fulfilled. The funny thing is that I, I, I was once so told fulfilled. you yeah. that. Surprises. No, no, no. Like, if I, I think we went to visit that, 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 that. And I was like, ask this small place. If it is just, that was when we were trying to know each other's parents and all that. I was like, if it is a very small place that we can just, so far we are happy together. I don't mind. Like, mind, yeah, like, sure. If it is just a, so sleeping on the carton was not a big deal for me, honestly, because I'm an artist and in this studio then in school, ah, we were rugged. We, you had to just survive. So sleeping on the carton was not a new thing for me. So just as if God has been preparing me that, okay, oh, this carton that you are sleeping on in school or all these things you are going on, going through in school, you will, you will see it in future just for a face. So I was not, so it's not like I was suffering or yeah. something, but mm. when the bed came in, of course, because ah, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, you never use it to react to anything. We were happily sleeping on our carton. <laughs> she was even the one that brought the carton idea. I mean, I wanted to just sleep on the floor like that. But she was the one that, you know, <laughs> spread the carton on the floor and we were sleeping on it and all of that. So, yeah, it was just a week. It was, it was just around a week we slept on carton. And after that week, you know, I got a mattress and we were sleeping on mattress and like that, like that, like that, like that. And the, I, will, I remember something. When we were planning the wedding, we went to one of our fathers too, and he prayed one specific prayer. Yes. I'll never forget. I said, "We want to finish Shelly." No, yes, mean. that's God. We should pray. In fact, he prayed that prayer, and that prayer really worked because that's how I never have not gone to submit my CV anywhere and all of that. Like, in fact, really in that place we were living before, <laughs> they thought I was a Yahoo Yahoo boy because they would just see me go out. And I'll we pack don't, things. We don't really go out, but whenever I go out, it's always coming back full. Like, so it it was it was not like what are they even this doing? This guy doing. Yeah, mommy came to meet me. Dad, his mom came to meet me. Like, what sort of talk to me? Talk about the emperor. You know, at least we have to go and bring our book. book that, that this is what this guy is doing. doing. You know, because it seemed unbelievable. Like, and it's I can understand what that. Like this, right? Nobody was today now. Yes, with our story, we've true. inspired a lot of people. They now believe that people reach out to me that ah, I have a writing skill, so I want to own it and all of that. But then nobody believed that okay, you can become any. But that it is not about really the skill, but about God in it. So it does not matter what you have. Even a road pepper seller can become something if you put God in it. So it was, excuse me, it was the God in what I was doing that was really, really bringing the, and it's still what is bringing the, yeah. Right in two, yes. It was God that told me. Yes. I never even saw myself as an editor. It was God that gave me that post in, in church, in, in school. school, that they gave me a interior secretary. And that day I cried, like, I don't know what to do in this area. I didn't know God was actually preparing me for a journey ahead. And in school then, I remember I was praying, and God said, I'll meet my husband in conference. Mm-hmm. I did not know mm-hmm. that that would be his first conference. And that was actually, my first that conference. Was what first. Us together. And that was what brought so, us together. So, it has been good. yeah, it has really, really, it has really been a journey of faith, journey of obedience and instruction, and <laughs> a, <laughs> a tough one. But then, so that's why, and this exceptional being, too, I was not the one that really, of course, I was the one that started. Call him, but it didn't just start. I just I don't know how if you even ask me the journey, but I can say it was God that influenced it because I just look at the summation of my life journey and I'm like, no, this is not ordinary. Manuel, you are not ordinary. So you are the exceptional being, and that was how it came about. And God confirmed it. I never even knew that it is was during my mom's birthday. Yes, yeah, or my was it my birthday? Okay, my mom's mean. birthday. My mom now said that ah, this like exceptional been being that, that has been born. said that she before, yes, since I was born. I didn't know she never told me, but it was on that day now she now revealed that she got me that this boy is an exceptional being, is not the ordinary being. So we give glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> that one again, God said I should just listen to my mom idea. So we were planning to get a very small apartment for a start, but she brought the suggestion that instead of getting a small apartment that let us rent like a three-bedroom apartment, then I will take one room out of it. Like I'll take the 
Master. You know, no, she did not even. We okay, didn't okay, say okay. me. I was expecting one of the room, but it was maybe through. Uh, I don't know. She now give us the master bedroom. <laughs> she had forgotten. <laughs> she thought maybe she's the one that, but we gathered yeah, money. money. Yeah, my wife even supported, so I gave her some part of the money. She supported, and the mom also. So yeah. for those times, we're actually living with a mom and the siblings. So we're living. Can say we're living in family house then. But I did yeah, not tell no. my parents that I was moving into a family house because my mom, they, they wouldn't even want something like that for a start that we are moving into a place and it's going to be full of families and no. But God specifically told us that whatever, and, you know, I should, regarding the house thing, that I should be my mom. And in the long run, it's actually benefited us because us. mom just, she she does not always stay at home anyway. But she so just bring food. She'll just bring food. She'll just bring food. She'll fill the gas. Gas for so us. So it was like God was just feeding us all through those periods, like for those, for the time. Because there were times that I would not be buoyant, but then there's food at home and mm -hmm. God was just saying, oh sure. So when we are going to live there, <laughs> it was, it was so, unbelievable. It was like, how am I going to stand on my own? Like, so yes. well, we thank God. So living with someone that you not have math, well, I don't know. God, <laughs> it was just I I don't know. I was not seeing a poor man. That's the thing. I was not seeing a poor man. I was seeing someone I'll marry and someone that I will live the rest of my life with. Mm, yes, I so think. So far, God is going with mm -hmm. me. I just know that I will not be ashamed. See, so far, God is involved. It can never fail. So that was just like that was what I was working with. I was not seeing a poor man. I was just seeing the love of my life actually. And then this is obedience. So, <laughs> so and I I will also add to that that she knows I'm not a lazy man. So even though I at that time, of course, there was no replica of anything or a lot of that, but I always, you know, there is this I'm not going to be poor. There is that mindset in me. And in fact, the uh, um, at the point of when we are planning to get her father called me and like, see, you know, you need to be in the well, you need to go me anything. You know, like, I won't ask you for anything, but my daughter must not suffer. And I assured him that, no, your daughter won't suffer. So I have that mindset that, no, you won't, you may suffer with me at the beginning, but it will not always be like that. And of course, like, couple of what she said, she believed she was not seeing a poor person. So, so, yeah, so that decision was really, it was easier for her. Uh, all right, so if you want to, maybe you want to register for our writing school or you want us to publish your book for you or print for you. Yeah, because that's what we do. We, you can even write your book for you in case you don't like writing. You can go straight to then. You can edit for you. Fantastic editor is there. So you can just reach out to us on WhatsApp. 081-8680-8323. Yeah, okay, yeah. The number will be on the screen, yeah. And you can also check us out on Instagram at Tebiba Publisher. Publisher. Yes, and our website is www.tebiba.com. The details will be on the screen here. Yeah, that is it. Thank you. Keep, Keep watching Beyond, Beyond Entertainment, Entertainment Show with, with PBO. Modern Entertainment Beyond the applause of men we seek for something valuable And that is the soul of man yeah. And that is the soul of man Man and we man So that for God Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.